All right, everybody, welcome back! Did you miss me? Nope. Okay, that was uncalled for. I hate you too! So, this is the secret course from Super Mario Sunshine. This is my favorite game of all time. Nintoni. So, this is more of a, uh, what it looks like combination, if you will, of multiple secret courses. Because this sand one right here would be in Gelato Beach. And then you got these cogs, which are from the one in Rico Harbor. This one right here looks like the Noki Bay one. Like this like wooden platform reminds me of that. This spinning cube. There's also one in the casino secret course. But let's just say this one's from Bianco Hills. And then these things, these uh, wall colors, they definitely look like Noki Bay's secret course, the, the shell's secret. But yeah, this is my favorite game of all time. Oh my god, Nintoni. I, I didn't see this in Discord, and I think I think I know why. <laughs> because uh, it's, for, it's from like February or something. You, uh, you're like, oh, I'm not going to post them on Discord because they're not good enough. Are you out of your mind? Have you lost your marbles? What is the matter with you? But, um, yeah, dude, if you went to GameStop in the early 2000s, they had, like, like, uh, it's like a stick with, like, a gummy Nintendo character on it. You can, like, Google it, I guess. <laughs> and they're, like, they're, like, a treat you could eat. They have, like, a Mario, a Link, I think a Donkey Kong. It's, like, a jelly gummy candy on a, on a stick. It's, like, a lollipop, kind of. And you can get them at GameStop in the early 2000s. That's what that reminds me of. Oh my god, those things did not taste the best, but it was still good. <laughs> yeah. My my favorite secret course is definitely the, the Shell Secret in Oki Bay. Because it's like an obstacle course, you know? It's like... There's many parts to it. It's like, this part, you gotta do this. And then that part, you're on a tightrope and all that stuff. But yeah, man, awesome job here. This is what we call Shine Sprite. <laughs> oh! Shine bright like a diamond? <laughs> uh, ew, that was cringe. Yeah, no thanks, bro. <laughs> Keep your cringe away from me. <laughs> yeah, but, um, awesome job, man. Keep it up. <laughs> Alright! So, this is, um, Vancouver Velocity from Mario Kart Tour. You've been telling me to, to play this, and I thought I did already. But just for the sake of humanity, we'll cover it again. Oh, Canada. Oh, Canada. Did I sing it good, huh? Did I sing it good, eh? <laughs> so, this is updated to make a, a better mountain line and get rid of the blue-nosed snail boats to try and save up on some space. What the heck is a blue snail boat? I'm not really into, you know, NASCAR. Um, I don't know what the heck that is. In doing this, I got to update the mul the maple trees in the Olympic Cauldron. Woo! As well, so it looks like more glass. Okay, a word. It also just looks way better, too. I might start doing this for the tour series stages, but I will try to add a flag somewhere to represent the countries these tracks are from. Pretty sure that would make it more, more of a general location rather stage rather than a Mario Kart stage. But I like it and try to go for the details. Okay. Oh Canada, yeah, because like, Mario Kart tour it's, it's like a tour around the world, and like you're just going to Brooklyn or uh, Brooklyn, <laughs> Germany. Ich esse ein Bratwurst. Okay, yeah, Bratwurst. That's like a baby calf, yeah. Um, and then you go to, like, uh, Alabama, and it's like, that's not a country. <laughs> it is now! Okay, Alabama. Add that to the list of countries, I suppose. And, um... Yeah, and you go, to, you go to, like, Thailand and all that stuff, and it's like... Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, but you got some, like, uh, what, what are these? These are not trees. These are, like... <laughs> I don't know. 
Isn't this in Mario Kart 8? You know what? I could be totally wrong. I don't think it is. <laughs> if it is, then I must have brain damage. <laughs> but yeah, you got some like city lights back here. It's like, oh, it's so pretty. Oh, Canada. <laughs> so you like Mario Kart, eh? <laughs> hmm. Um. Uh, by the looks of it, I would believe so. <laughs> but yeah, awesome job, man. Yeah, keep it up. All right, so this is, uh, I can't do this. It's going to bring a tear to my eye. <laughs> I must act professional. So this is the Nintendo eShop. Source, Nintendo 3DS. <laughs> yeah, like on the, on the Nintendo 3DS's eShop, they had this little, this little guy right here. He's like the mascot of it, if you will. Yeah, anyways. While the shop's closed for business, it's open for brawls. Oh my gosh! Look out for the lava block swinging in from the right, sliding along the rail. Okay. A word. Stage replaced. Bell Hill from Kelowna? No! The stage was last posted last month, so it should be up for another two months. No! You said no casualties. You monster! But yeah, so this is like the a tribute to the 3DS eShop in particular. But yeah, it's like this little bad guy. Like everybody's like, oh no, he's gone forever now. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> so like when you download a game on the 3DS, you get like a, these little things and you like open them on your like home menu and like they'll appear. Like the 3DS had so many great games. Um, I did not get mine. Until, like, 2015. Oh, wow. So, this is supposed to represent, um, this little box that get placed into, like, the thing while the games are downloading. That's a nice little touch to that. I thought it was just, like, a stage hazard, but, yeah. I didn't get mine until, like, 2015, and it came out in, like, 2011, I believe. But, like, when I did get it, I made sure I got, like, all the important games... But I really got it right as soon as uh, Omega Ruby came out. Like, I had to play that. It's one of my favorite... Pokemon Ruby is one of my favorite games ever. And, uh, yeah. I got 3D Land. I played New Super Mario Bros. 2. 3D Land. Uh, Omega Ruby. Uh, I, got a, I got a lot of games. <laughs> But, yeah, in, in, like, 2018, that Luigi's Mansion remake came out, and I, I bought that, and I played it, but, like, I guess I didn't even touch it since 2018, because, like, when I turned it on right before the eShop closed, it was, like, the last game I played, and I was like, there's no way, there's no way I haven't touched that thing in, like, four to five years, like, there's no way. But, Shovel Knight was, like, on sale for, like, two dollars. I already own it a million different ways. And I was like, you know, I'll do that again. And, uh... I had bought, like, a Pokemon Gold download card, like, years ago. Like, back in 2017. And I hurry up and redeem that. So, you can still use the eShop on the Wii U and 3DS. You just can't buy stuff now. Like, you can re-download stuff for now. Like, if you deleted it to save space, you can re-download it. You can download updates for games. But you cannot buy anything. Which I think is just, you know, someone's like, oh, because the server costs money to keep up. And uh, that's why. But whatever, man. You guys are a billion, trillion dollar company. Come on now. Whatever, man. It's whatever. At least do something. Give us access to do play these some other way. I don't know. But yeah, this is an awesome little thing. I didn't know you even posted this, man. I've been gone a long time from the stage builder community. <laughs> yeah, like two weeks, whatever. But yeah, you know, even a blind squirrel's right twice a day. It is? No. Awesome stage, man. Yeah, you keep it up. All right, this is pretty epic. Oh my gosh. Oh! So, this is from the Super Mario movie that just came out. Um, <clears throat> is this really a spoiler? Not really, because they even showed it on Twitter and music videos and all that stuff. This is the Peaches song from 
the Super Mario Bros. movie. So throughout this this movie, Bowser he likes to like play his piano and sing. He he has like he has like something for Peach. In the video games, he just usually captures her. You know, he like kidnaps her. It's never really like like sometimes they hint at stuff like that, but it's never really like like that. But in this movie, th this movie is like its own universe. It's not the same Mario. It's definitely like a different Mario, different universe timeline, if you will. But in this one, he's like, he's obsessed with her, you know? And then when he like kidnaps Luigi, he, or when they capture him, he's like, D does Princess like guys with mustaches? <laughs> and then he's like, if, if, if they have good taste <laughs> or something like that. But, yeah, it's something like that. And then, like, it's funny. Like, there's, like, that one part where he's, like, talking to Magic Koopa or Kimmick, if you will. And then uh, he's like, oh, the the human Mario, he did this. And then he's like, oh, was, was Princess Peach impressed? <laughs> like, oh, my God. Like, I felt bad for him in this movie because he got, like, cock-blocked. Like, I would never marry a monster. And, like, I felt bad for him, you know? Love really makes a turtle come out of his shell. <laughs> but yeah, he like sits down and sings. Peach. Peaches, 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 peaches. Oh, I love you. Oh. But yeah, it's like, oh my god, dude. Slay. But yeah, this is interesting. I like how you made this. What made you want to make this? This is like a Final Destination layout, too, kind of, yeah. That's pretty cool, yeah. I can't wait for this to come out on, like, Blu-ray already, because, uh... I want to rewatch it. Oh, I, I watched this movie three times in theaters. There's no way you can watch the same movie. <laughs> no movie is that good, like, that entertaining to watch three times back-to-back. -back. Like, come on, bro. I know you want to brag that you, you bought that many tickets, but I don't care. <laughs> Yeah, anyways, yeah, awesome job, man. Yeah, keep it up. All right, this is pretty nice. I like the the perfect pixel art recreation. Even added like animations to them, so they're not just like still drawings, which is nice. So, this is from the Donkey Kong arcade machine. Donkey Kong arcade game. Sorry. Here's a simple stage to rival 75 meters. Not much to say about this one. Hope you enjoy the sprites. So, before Mario Brothers, before Super Mario Bros, it was just Donkey Kong, the arcade game. So this is like 1981. This is like Shigeru Miyamoto's first like real project, I believe. Um, Nintendo had some arcade games back in the late 80s, early 80s, and like they weren't moving too much. And then they asked Miyamoto to make one, and then... BAM! But in this game, he's just called Jumpman. He wasn't called Mario until the Mario Bros. game. But, and then the Super Mario Bros. with a Super in it, that kicked off into its franchise, what we know today. But yeah, back then it was, it was Pauline. That was not Princess Peach. And then he had Donkey Kong. But yeah, he's like a carpenter, and then he Donkey Kong stole her. But there's, like, multiple Donkey Kong games. You know, like, Donkey Kong 3 with, like, you know, like, shoot bug spray at him. You're playing as some guy named Stanley or something. And then, yeah, it's very interesting. But, yeah. And then, like, this Donkey Kong, according to Donkey Kong Country on the Super Nintendo, the first one, this isn't really Donkey Kong. This is Cranky Kong. So it's like, oh, Jumpman must have been Mario's father. But, like... But the thing is, it's like, this wasn't even the Mario franchise yet established, so it's like... That's just like a headcanon, like, you know? Anyways, whatever, man. But this is a nice little stage. This is where the iconic hammer item came from in Smash. But yeah, you like... Throw it, like you climb up the ladder, and it'll just like fly up in the air and catch it. Or maybe I'm thinking of uh, 
Mario versus Donkey Kong on the Game Boy Advance. That game is a masterpiece, bro. Oh my god. You can, like, do handstands and... I mean, you can do that in, like, Donkey Kong 93 on the Game Boy. Whatever. 94? But Mario vs. Donkey Kong is, like, its own thing. It just takes it up even in more of a notch. It's just amazing. You gotta play it. But, uh... It's, yeah, it's a nice stage, man. Help! Help! Uh... You know what? I don't want to save you. But, yeah, awesome job, man. Yeah, keep it up. All right, so this is the last stage for now. I'll be back in another five weeks. <laughs> Just kidding. So, this is from Street Fighter 2. This is Ken's stage. Oh, no. Do you hear that? I hear Smoo McGroove. Hey, guys. Smoo McGroove. Someone call for an acapella? He did Ken's stage, right? Or was that Guile's stage? Ba 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 Is this the American flag, but someone bleached it? Ba 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 Um, I don't know, anyways. Maybe you should have made the flag <clears throat> red and then put white stripes, I don't know. But yeah, this is awesome. So you got some of those stage hazards right here. This, this won't really affect the player. Like, it won't damage you. It's just more of, like, its own thing. But, um, and you didn't make them respawn, which I, I guess is nice. But, yeah, this is, this is a little cool. I can't wait for Street Fighter VI to come out. Is that why you made this? Sure, you can! But yeah, man, this game comes out on my birthday. I'm I'm excited. Time to schedule off work. <laughs> and for Breath of the Wild sequel. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> sure you can. Yeah, Ryu is definitely like my go-to character. I mean, I when I first ever played Street Fighter, I played as Blanca. I was like, this is pretty cool. But, and then you, you like, experiment with people. I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna stick with Ryu. Hadouken! Oh my gosh. Did you put wind walls over here? No. Oh, I thought he just got... I thought he just blew back over here. Whatever. Dude, look look at this, right? You got... Street Fighter Six coming out. And then you got Tekken 8. And then you got Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 4. If that's what they're going to call it. And then you have Mortal Kombat 12. Which the Dragon Ball and Mortal Kombat are supposedly coming out this year. That's crazy, bro. Four fighting games? What the heck? When 2023 started, I was like, eh, there's not much going on. I was like, oh my god, Dead Space Remake. Metroid Prime Remastered. You got Resident Evil 4 Remake. Like, it's just been, it's been nice, man. And then like... All these games are announced, and it's like, oh my gosh. Great time to be a gamer. Yeah, but anyways, also stage there, everybody. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.